Hello again, everyone. Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. We are just outside of, I believe, Grafton Steel Mill. Huh. Event Swarm of Suitors. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Grafton Steel. That's where we are. Last episode, probably spent about half of the episode uh, clearing the place out. Uh, and in this game, when you restart the game, all of the enemies are back. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. One of my favorite things about games like this... Well, that was weird. It just got dark all of a sudden. One of my favorite things about games like this is discovering a new place and then clearing it out of all of the enemies so that I can then freely explore the place enemy-free. Well, in this game, if you don't clear the place out entirely before you exit the game, well, guess what? You're clearing it out again. And, uh, oh gosh, I, oh gosh, uh, dude, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, that's not a weapon. Um, and I, I don't like this. Um, I, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to have to clear these guys out again. And it's not that I don't like the combat. The combat's fine. I mean, it's not the best, but it's, it's fine. It's that when I'm, playing a game, you know, online here, like I am, you know, creating videos for YouTube, you know, I have a limited amount of time, you know, I can't play this game forever, uh, so the last thing I want to do is replay parts of the game, and that's what I'm doing now, I have to take the time to re-fight all of these enemies, and, uh, you know, do what I've already done, explore what I've already explored, and I don't, I don't like that. I, I don't know what to do about it, though. Um, I mean, do I, uh, you know, try to get help from somebody, you know? Well, there's really nobody around here. You know, there's a couple people running around here. Boy, there's some high-level people here. I am super, super low-level compared to these people. But even if I were to bring in some help, I mean... Yeah, I guess it would help me clear the place out quicker, perhaps. Uh, but, you know, as you just saw, there's not really people around all the time. So, I don't know if that's an option, really. So, here I am, you know, because I want to explore the steel mill, I have to uh, clear it all out again. And, uh, you may notice that the colors are really weird right now. I've seen this happen a couple of times in the game, um, where, uh, see my weapon is like all white and my hands are all white. I don't think this is what I'm supposed to look like. I think there's supposed to be some color to me, so I don't know if it's because it's like overcast now that this is happening, but, uh, it seems like a bit of a glitch. Somebody's shooting at me. Yeah. So, and, oh, that's, oh, jeez. Okay, creeping out. Oh, jeez, I'm hurt. I need some help. Uh, yeah, bad shape now. Bad, bad shape. So, anyway, I, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just like, you know, what do you guys think? What, what should I do here? You know, do I take the time to clear this place out again? Oh, that was kind of neat. Um, do I just move on and, you know, just deal with it? Whoops. What? Okay, I guess somebody's stuck up. Call for help. Somebody, somebody come help me. I'm calling for help. Give up. Now that's weird, because I don't remember ever um, having this option before. I just had the option to respawn, so maybe there's somebody nearby who can help me, and that's why I'm getting this option. I don't know. I wish I could look around, but I can't. So now I'm dead. So... I don't know. I, I, I'm open to suggestions on what you guys think I should do, in, including the uh, suggestion of just stop complaining. <laughs> you can give that suggestion if you want. <laughs> but uh, if if the uh, the answer to this problem is to stop complaining, well then you're going to watch me clear out places over and over and over again like I'm doing right now. Uh, and I just, I don't know, man. I just don't think that's very much fun doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, I need some water. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, move over here to the aid and, uh, drink some water. 
What do I have to drink? Man, I thought I had uh, made more drinks. But I'm not seeing any. I guess I could drink this Nuka Cherry. And, um, yeah, that'll work. And then we might as well go ahead and eat some food. Over here. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'm not done. There's more. <laughs> um, another problem is that now that I'm doing this again, these guys have all respawned and I'm fighting them again, which means I can loot them again, which means that now I'm just carrying more and more stuff. And, you know, stuff is a problem with this game to begin with because you can only store so much stuff. Um, I thought there was a bench in here. Where was a... Here's a chem bench that I guess I could... Oh, I can't scrap my junk here? I could scrap these things. So let me scrap some of the stuff that I'm picking up from these losers to uh, see if I can't free up some inv for inventory space. My serrated machete. All right, I freed up, freed up some space there. As far as what I could craft at a chemistry station, I don't know. I haven't really paid too much attention. I uh, can't make any drinks. I could make ammo, energy ammo, healing. Ooh, I can make some dilated stim packs. I didn't know that. What do I need for the... Uh, oh, why do I want to make a um, diluted stim pack? Hmm, what's the... I guess I'm taking two stim packs and turning them into dilated, diluted stim packs. I'm not really sure why I wanted to do that. And then smelting. Yeah, okay. I can smelt my copper scrap. Or my gold scrap. Um, don't really know what I need this for. I guess I could use it for bullets and such. Right? Now, did that free up any uh, inventory space? Uh, uh, maybe one point, maybe. You know what? Oh, jeez. Really? Okay, nicely done, dude. Oh, gosh, daggone it, man. Gotta reload this thing. Huh. How's he gonna get down here? Is he gonna run over here? Yeah. This guy he's a he's a level 16 dude. So I'm gonna try to stay away from him. And uh is that him shooting? What are you shooting at, dude? I'll plop down here. Cause he's not smart enough to do that, or maybe he's too smart to do that. Come here. So he's hitting me a little bit. Whoa. Is there more than one dude here? Or does he have more than one weapon? I'm not sure. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, he's lost interest in me, apparently. Yeah, let's get his attention again. Oh, jeez. Uh, anyway, I was going to say, uh, there's a terminal here that I didn't look at before. We picked up um, the recording, but I did not look at the terminal. So, if I can um, clear this place out, well then we'll look at it. Who is shooting me? Oh, you. Shut up. <laughs> Shut him up. Oh. Uh, okay, I already saw this place. Uh, you know what's interesting is that when we came here last time, uh, this plan was sitting on the ground uh, in a paper bag. Oh, okay, whatever. I don't know why I didn't hit him. I guess because I didn't zoom in. Another dude shooting at me from somewhere. Holy hell, you guys are really getting on my nerves. <laughs> he was like looking at his weapon. Whoa, more guys. He didn't seem to like that very much. Well, he had all kinds of armor on him, too. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that you shooting at me? Stop it. Am I even hitting him? Oh, there's a dude over there now. I don't think I'm hitting him. Gal. 
Golly. Oh, I'm, I'm hurting. Didn't even notice my health. Didn't notice my heart beating. <sighs> no. Oh my gosh. So many of these dudes here. And what I'm concerned about also is that what if another player enters this area when I'm trying to clear these guys out? Are they all going to respawn again? And I'm going to have to start shooting them again? Probably. Oh, my dropped loot. I forgot about my dropped loot. I need to go get it. Stand still. Why does this cabinet have a health bar? Answer me that. Let's go get my health. I'm in my bag of goodies over here. Let's take everything. Uh, take all. Yeah, now I'm probably over encumbered. No, I'm not. Alright, whatever. Hmm, where'd that dude go that was up there? He was giving me grief. Anyway... Um, so we listened to this last time. And, um, I'd kind of like to listen to it again, even though it's kind of long. Uh, because last time... So I, I try to walk around a little bit and do stuff while I listen to tapes, but uh, then I can't really pay attention to the tapes. So I want to pay attention to this one and hear what it said, because it was pretty interesting. I don't know what happened in the furnace, but it's gone up for good. Wouldn't have been so bad if y'all just shut the damn thing down for a few weeks and cleaned out the blast. At this point, whatever it is, at this point it's fused with every damn part from the furnace to the smelter in the mills. Look, Mason, I don't need to hear it. Can you keep it running or not? <sighs> Thank of you. Whatever's going on chemically, it's pretty toxic and corrosive at that. You're gonna have to keep making near constant repairs. I can mark the areas, but... Foreman doesn't give a damn about the ash. The workers brought it on themselves, now they get to live with it. Besides, the bots don't care. All the more reason to continue the work mm, once okay. changed over. So, that's it then. Just... Keep replacing bots and machinery and let the plant destroy the valley and break up the strikers? If you got a problem with that, we can cancel payment. It's just... Just... Get me in the van, okay? And get me out of here before anyone sees me. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you. We'll recommend you to our friends. Don't. Don't ever contact me again after this. And erase my name off that hollow tape. I went over the needed repairs. That's enough. <laughs> Her name is still on the tape. Bye. So, yeah, she was supposed to come here and clean this stuff. And they're like, we're not going to spend the money on that. What do we care? You know, we're going to replace all these people with uh, bots anyway. So, and the bots don't care. So, yeah, we don't care. Let's uh, see what's on the terminal here. Kidding me? There's nothing on it? Why is there an empty terminal here? Alright, empty terminal. Okay. Alright. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see. Let me see if I have more stuff to scrap. Okay, and then, uh, scrap this stuff. Alright. Okay. Yeah, let's keep exploring this place. We know there's going to be a lot more of these dudes around here. So let's get to clearing them out. Yep, there's a couple of dudes down there. A level 16, level 5 dude. Get rid of the level 5 dude. Didn't hit him. It's a nice move he's got there, though. Ooh, did a lot of damage to him that time. No, he's just standing there. I don't think I got him that time. I didn't. That was a bad shot. Alright, cool. Took care of him. It was cool when they shot this thing and blew it up. It was kind of neat. I guess this is one of these extractor things. I could repair it if I wanted to, but I really don't see any reason to. Uh, locker room. I think... Uh This is, um... 
Well, that's not what I thought it was. I guess I haven't been in here yet. Cryo mine, a tool case. Well, I can't unlock that. Uh, I guess I could see if I could level up. When am I going to get more perk cards? That's what I want to know. I thought I was supposed to get more cards when I leveled up, but I'm not. I, maybe it's like every five levels now or something. Exterminator is new. I don't remember getting that. But, you know, as far as getting the, um, the thing that I want for this, too bad. I can't get another pick lock. That's what I want. Can't unlock that. Boiled water. I'll take that. I don't need any of that stuff. I don't think I do anyway. Mac and cheese. That sounds delicious. So, this thing here is making a noise. I guess just to let me know that it's available. But... Can't say I'm interested in that either. Don't really know why I would want to spend the caps to make that my uh, workshop. I mean, did they really think that, like, by doing that, people were going to, like, fight over them? Oh, gosh. Is that what they thought was going to happen? Well, this guy's running around here. Talk about it. Pick out the right weapon. What you got? Nice. Boy, shot him to pieces. Hey, where you going, man? Don't run away from me. Where you going? Nice. That's a pretty good shot right there, I feel like. Okay, well, completed the enemies, or cleared the enemies. So you can see now that my suit is gray with some blue on it instead of just plain white like it was before. So whatever was causing that weird, you know, making everything white has cleaned up. My weapon isn't white looking anymore. Lead. Damn, there's a lot of lead there. So, we got more dudes to clear out over here. This is where we were in the last episode. Oh, whoa. I stayed zoomed in. And here I am again at the beginning of this one. But you gotta clear these dudes out. If you wanna explore freely, you gotta do it. It was pretty hairy over here when we were here last time. I felt like... Over encumbered again. Where's this go? Rolling mill. Oh, look at this place. Oh, hey, what's up? <sighs> okay. I'm trying to switch weapons. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> Stupid thing. <laughs> If you would have just come at me, you probably would have gotten me, but you had to stand there and howl first. Let's see, we've got some fuses here. There's uh, some pretty good stuff there I'll take. Huh, what's up, bro? door take us outside here. And then we're back in here. Where we've run around quite a bit already. Still managed to miss that razor grain. Uh, let's go back up here to this um, workbench again real quick. Do a quick scrap. Oh, we got a dude walking around. Oh. Gets to reload. Man. 
What's cool about this weapon is that it, like, shoots him to pieces. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now what? Hear one talking, but I don't see him. Whoa. Where are you? Where are you, dude? Oh, a meat bag. I haven't seen one of those yet in this game. Um. Yeah, I'm getting uh, getting way far away from where I wanted to go. But there's a uh, bench here. Get scrapper items. Where is this loudmouth? Cryo mines. Did I open this last time? I don't remember. It's hard to remember. I may have missed it. No, nope, good stuff in there. Cool. Yeah, see, I've already been in here. This is where I came in at the start. This place is so big, you know? It's like hard to be methodical in my search of the place. Really difficult. Hey, what's up? This thing does not do much damage. A capless skull. So yeah, this is where I initially entered the place. So let's just keep exploring it, seeing what's here. What now what? Where? Where's this guy? Is he out there? I don't see him on my map, on my compass. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just walking around. I was hoping that there'd be more, you know, about the story of this Donna Mason who wanted to repair the place. But that could have just been the whole story right there. Oh, look where I am. I'm here, walking around. This is roof access. Well, it's a roof, all right. <laughs> I can't believe how big this place is. Crazy man. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. Don't know where he is though. He's probably up way up above me there. Probably where he is. Oh, here's uh eh, nothing I'm interested in. Uh yep, sure enough, he is above me, and it's hard to shoot these guys through this graded floor here, because it don't always hit like I should. Oh, I got him. Cool. Nice. Shut him up. Well, I'm just walking around, man. I'm just seeing what there is to see. Going where there is to go. I'm usually not this haphazard in my exploring. Ooh, excess adhesive. I want that. Oh, a bunch of iron ore. Okay, we could take that and turn it into steel scraps steel we could use for stuff. Oh, this is interesting. Oh gosh, it's kind of hard to walk up this. Matter of fact, it is very hard to walk up this. Is that a dead guy over there? It is. Oh man. Gots to hop. Get my iron ore. Somebody gonna start shooting at me? Oh, I got a meat bag here. Ooh, dead body down there. It's pretty neat being way up here. Uh, I don't see any reason to try to jump over there, so let's just go ahead and uh, grab the caps. 
Dude with a pack of cigarettes. A hard hat. Fortney's furnace key. Uh huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with that key, where I'm going to use it, but uh, it's kind of fun to find something like that. Uh, right away diluted. Oh man, I don't know why I picked up those 50 caliber balls. I'm never going to use those. Anybody I could shoot from up here? This place is really big. Ah, did you see a dude walking around down there? <laughs> Let's keep looking around. Look at this guy. It's an interesting outfit you've got there, dude. Yeah, way down there. Dude walking around. So this place isn't cleared out yet. Uh, still a lot of super mutants to take care of. What if I get anything from here? If I have this kind of range. Uh, no. Oh gosh, there's also a five down here too? We'll get to him. Well, I'm hearing stuff too. I don't know where this dude is. That I hear. Maybe use, get some used oil, maybe. I'm thirsty, so let us stop and take a drink of something. Maybe some very heavy Nuka Cola. So I just came down from here. What is, is this the same thing? Uh, yeah, it just goes up and around. Okay. I guess. Actually, I don't know. This place is so confusing. Okay, yeah, this is where I just came from. Okay. Alright. So, now... Could walk over there. Uh, I think there's still a place that I haven't been down here. Probably several places, actually. Let's see if I can get to them. I don't think this is the right way, but... Walking around over here. Cleared that guy out already. This. This is it. Restricted access. Due to the ongoing investigation about the attempted sabotage of the blast furnace, we are restricting access to approved personal. <laughs> personal. Only. I'm sure that was supposed to say personnel. Supervisor Fortney will be in charge of shift handoff of the keys, and the doors shall remain locked under all hours management. So, I now have the uh, key to unlock this. Didn't have it before, but I do now. Reload. <laughs> Look at this neat place. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Beneath me? That ain't fair. Shoot me from down there where I can't see you. The nerve. The nerve of some super mutants. Oh, damn it. No. Am I hitting him at all? I'm doing some damage to him at least. Shoot, man. Ah, crap. That needs to move. Needs to heal myself up a little bit. Um, it's so cumbersome to come in here and try to pick out uh, grenades and such. Oh, oh, he moved. Yep, that's the same guy. Um, didn't even hit him. Almost got him. Alright, cool. Nice. What do you got on you? 
So this guy have a lot of stuff on him because he had the crown over top of his head. He didn't have that much stuff on him. Um, okay, there's a ramp that goes down there. You go over here. <laughs> Does this place make any sense? Here's a, uh, oh, I thought it was a toolbox or something. Portable fuel tank. I mean, we could walk up here and see if there's anything up here. Here's a door. Takes us to yet a different area. Okay, whoa, that's safe. <laughs> Railing's broken. Uh, okay, this also requires the furnace key. Shelter, hey, what's up? Reload. Okay. Oh, you're dead. All right, we'll go there in a minute. I want to finish looking around in here. <laughs> I can't get over this place. It's huge. Oh, here's another key. Yeah, there's about a gazillion entrances to this place. Okay, I've already been up there. Come down here. What is this place? Right at the very bottom of the furnace. Don't know if I'm going to find any goodies down here or not, but I'm going to look. Not, nothing here for us. So, thinking back on what I was talking about at the beginning of this episode, where I was, like, um, upset that, you know, I'd already cleared the place out and I had to clear it out again, maybe, maybe I just shouldn't encounter, or I should say engage an area, unless I know I'm going to have time to clear it out. Like, by time to clear it out, I mean, you know, I try to keep my episodes 45 minutes to an hour, and, um... Maybe only engage new places at the very beginning of an episode in the hopes that I will be able to clear it out in, an, in the, you know, in the duration of the episode. That way I won't have to do what I did this time, which is, um, you know, clear out half of it last episode and clear out the rest of it this episode. I've already been in here. So maybe I'll just try to do that. Try to plan that way. I don't know, like I said, I'm open to hear what you guys think. If there's anything I can do about this respawning business. There's a note again. I just... I just get... In the other games, I would just get so much satisfaction and just a, really a feeling <laughs> of accomplishment, seriously, when I would uh, clear out an area and then I could run around and explore it freely. I mean, that... Gosh, I just love that so much. So much fun. But uh, it's been, it's, you know, it's kind of been taken away. It's working right now so long as I stay in this area and, and don't leave the game. But, you know, if somebody else joins, you know, shows up here, are all of these uh, enemies going to respawn yet again? I think they will. And that sucks, man. Let's just do that as well. Okay. What do we got? Stuff I'm not going to bother to pick up. Fumigus Blowtorch. This looks good. Stim Pack Super. Super Stim. Oh, hey, what's up? I think I stood up real slow like, ah, geez, now I got to fight this guy. Oh, here comes another one. 
Here comes another one. I hear you. I hear you coming. Human jaw. Is that supposed to intimidate me? Huh? Oh, hey. Did I hit him? I don't think I did. Nice. I wasn't even sure that was working. Oh, what's up, dude? Uh-oh, this is starting to get a little hairy here. Let's back around the corner. Who wants to peek his head out first? Hmm? You? Well, that was a pretty good move they did there. One came out one side, one came out the other. That wasn't bad. Oh, he hit me through the window. Oh, he's moving in. Look at him go. You might want to rethink think your strategy there, dude. I'm just saying. Okay, cool. Getting some goodies from these guys. More stuff to scrap. So we'll just come right back in here. Scrappity scrap scrap. Scrap. Okay. <laughs> when does it end, man? <laughs> Good grief. Another door over here. Holy cow. Are you kidding me with this place? Oh, what? No, no, no. I didn't do that. Oh, I got... Oh, crap. There's people shooting at me. Oh, here he comes. I'm hitting escape. I'm... Oh, 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 oh. oh, man, I thought he was coming at me from this side. Maybe he's above me. Oh! Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Ouch. Dang on it. I keep hitting the wrong button to heal. Well, he's pretty smart. I don't know if it was him or somebody else that was throwing grenades at me. But uh, it's a good strategy, I'll tell you that. It's killed me before and it'll kill me again, I'm sure. Who is shooting? Shut up. Oh, my rifle broke. <laughs> cool. Did I just pick up another one from him? I feel like I did. Okay, broken items can't be equipped. Let's see. Um, sure. Okay, this is the one that's broken. Sure enough, it's broken, all right. <laughs> Why does the bench have health? <laughs> I don't know. Shooting it doesn't seem to do anything. What's going on down here? Look at this place. Plunger stuck there. I don't know. I'll pick it up. Nice booties. Yeah. Alright. Have I been here? This door is open, which makes me think that I have been here already. Into the smelter. Helter smelter. And... I don't... No, we haven't been down here. Whoa, look at that place. <laughs> There's so much of this I'm going to miss because it's just so big and so confusing. So, I might as well just scrap this. Instead of trying to fix it, we'll just scrap it. It's no big deal. I was just using it just to do something different. I was kind of going through the ammo real quick on it anyway. Let's see what's going on down here. A 
bag of cement. Yeah, I'm gonna carry that around. What is this noise I'm hearing? What? Oh, I guess I'm walking on the sign. Workers against... Workers United Against Automation. I used to have a job where I did I did automation. I wrote scripts to automate people's jobs, literally putting them out of work. But it was okay. We gave them other jobs. Uh, need some aid and um, something to drink. Uh, I'm gonna need to go to a cooking station. Because I am low on things to drink. Look at the molten steel. That's what I'm going to say it is. It's molten steel. Just flowing through there like a river. Hmm. I'll take that. Take me a fusion core. I don't care if your machinery works or not. More important is that I have a fusion core to add to my collection. And now I'm just right back here in this room. Okay. What the Alright. Alright, well let's um let's keep exploring. Gonna be more dudes out here for me to fight. I don't know if um, I've gone to the same place where I was at the end of the last episode. Rolling mill. Uh, yeah, we've been in here already. Man, the only way I can remember where I've been is by... Uh, I don't know. If I did come in here, I missed stuff. I was going to say, the only way I can remember where I've been is by, um, open doors, you know? But I, I do remember coming in here before. So we've already been in here, but I apparently didn't, uh, investigate very well. And then there's this whole area over here that I haven't been to. This whole outside area. Doors there that I haven't opened yet. There's doors there that I have opened, so I guess I've already walked out here. Uh, blast furnace. Yep, there's doors we've I've opened, so I've been there. That's good. Okay, and then over there is some places I haven't been yet either. Uh, so why am I turning around? Because I want to go up these stairs here and see if I've been up here already. Because I think I saw. Yeah, so there's some doors here that haven't been opened yet. So let's open these doors. We'll just take us back to the smelter, which is the place we've already been. We've already been in here. Okay. And then up here. Where was this area where... Oh, no. Look at this. A petrified dude. Hmm. I'm trying to remember where I was in the last episode when I got my butt kicked. Look at this. Frag grenade. Binoculars already have a hunting rifle. Huh. I wonder how come he hasn't turned in anything. Henrik's note. Let's read Henrik's note. Mr. Bosley will be in the watchtower across the lake at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Don't say I never did anything for you. Whoa, what's this now? Huh. Well, he's got a rifle, so he's going to kill this Mr. Bosley guy. This Henrik's was going to kill Mr. Bosley. Be in the watchtower across the lake. So the watchtower, we can see it on my map. Here's the watchtower, but I don't see it with my eyeballs. Unless that's it. Maybe this was it right here. But if that was it, I don't know why it would be on my map. Because there's really not a whole lot to see. I don't know. We'll, we'll go over there at some point and see what the heck's going on. We will. A folder. So what happened here? Why are these two corpses petrified, but he's just laying here? 
I don't know, man. I don't know. So many questions, so few answers. Well, wow, one of them just decided to explode. Um... So I'm guessing I've already been in here. Don't think I've walked up these stairs yet. Oh, I got him. What are you gonna do about it? Don't run and hide, I can't finish you off. If you go run and hide from me, that's not fair. Get back out of here. Hey, there you go, good boy. <laughs> that was great. Let's see if there's anything around here to look at. I like that the sun's coming up. <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but I can't believe how big this place is. There's some Rad X. Seems like it's been forever since I've seen Rad X. Let's keep going up. Let's see what's up here. Oh, did I hear a... I heard something. Oh, the place is nice and quiet now. Is this some ammo? It is. Oh, let's unlock this. Oh, this is reminding me that there was something I was trying to unlock a while back. But I didn't unlock it because I thought somebody was coming. So... Yeah, there's something I missed somewhere. But it'll be alright. Okay, so we've already been over here. Yeah, we've ar we were already over here quite a while ago. We already walked all the way up that. But last time I just chose not to go this way yet. So, I've already been there. Is it thunder? Is it a storm coming in? Oh, yeah, it's starting to rain. Neat. Kind of cool. We'll see how cool it is when it rolls in here and it starts giving me radiation. Won't be so cool then, will it? Alright. <clears throat> now what? Now what do I do? How do I get down from here? I guess I could just hop down, but... Sometimes you get yourself in trouble when you do that. So here's a walkway over here. We could use to get down. Meat bag. I think... This... Is it here? Is this? No. I was trying to go to that hallway where I was trying to unlock something before. I think this is it. Yeah, right here. So, yeah, I don't know how important it is to get into this toolbox, but we're going to get in it. Uh, yeah, nothing but terribly exciting. So this is where things were hot and heavy in the last episode, but uh, cleared everybody out now. Very satisfying. Man, I was in here before, and I totally missed those uh, shotgun shells there. Okay. Uh, let's see. We can go this way. I don't think I've been this way. I hope you guys are enjoying this tour of Grafton Steel. So will just take me back up to the blast furnace. What I want to do is get down and start walking around out there. That's what I'd like to do. There's the note. Don't think I've walked over here. Yeah, I have not. Okay, that's how we get down. We can walk up here if we want. Oh, I'm over encumbered, doggone it. Let's wait for our action points to replenish. Hmm. Oh, man. The place that keeps on giving. Huh, we're on a road now. And what? The, did you see that? Whoa! 
Okay then. Oh, look at them all, man. I'm gonna use my new uh, serrated blade machete. Look at them all. Oh, I like my new machete. It does a fair amount of damage. Wouldn't you agree? Felt pretty good. So, a bunch of feral ghouls here, man. A bunch of people died here, apparently. Huh. Interesting. This is where we kind of... Kind of where we entered the place when we very first arrived here in the last episode. And somehow I didn't encounter those feral ghouls. Which is weird, because I... This is exactly where I was running. I was hiding behind these walls, remember? Uh, so yeah, I don't know how I managed to avoid the ghouls. But I'm glad that I did. Well, the storm is coming in. We're going to keep exploring this place. Probably going to see more mutants down here. Ooh. What is this? Blamco. There's a note on the wall over here. Take a look at it. Ooh, they're boiled water. That's good. Bottle cap sunglasses. Um, important memo. Oh, Grafton Steel Memorandum to all employees from Stacy Tibbetts, HR manager. Uh, okay, we read this already. We read this on um, uh, Mr. Woods' uh, computer uh, a couple episodes ago. Hope you saw that episode. Pretty interesting stuff. What's this? Well, okay. Uh, clown outfit? Okay. Clown outfit. So the, the space suit really doesn't give me any protection. So, I mean, I can... I could walk around in a clown outfit. Let's walk around in a clown outfit for a bit. <laughs> Just so that when other people see me, they think it's weird. Why was there a clown outfit there? I don't know, man. Is it uh, related to the uh, kidnapping of little Freddy Woods? Maybe. As creepy as that is. You remember that story, right? Creepy, creepy. Hmm, okay, here's a dude we shot from up above. Look at this. Some more petrifieds over there. There's another dude here. This music is very relaxing. <laughs> I guess it's telling me that everything is okay. There's no enemies around here. Oh my. I don't want any of that stuff. Here's a uh, bench here. Do a little bit of scrapping. Always exciting. Mmm. Clown outfit doesn't weigh very much. I don't need. Well, this one does more damage. This one's level twenty, and I could use it. So let's scrap. Oh, I actually I can't use this one. It is level twenty. Uh, so we'll get one of those again later. Don't worry about it. Challenge complete. Craft or scrap rifles. I guess I've crafted or scrapped seventy six of those now. Uh, armor workbench. Do I need to repair any of my armor? Yeah, let's repair some stuff. The fact that the pit boy is here makes me wonder if I'm going to be able to mod it at some point. Ooh, this thing's in bad shape. Oh, I can't repair it. Why can't I repair this? Uh. Oh, I can now. Okay. For a second there, I couldn't. I don't know why. Uh, let's see here. This thing. I think we've looked at this before. Lighter build or biocom mesh. Boy, it makes it way heavy. Way heavier. Increases duration of chems by 50%. Well, I don't necessarily want to do that. Well, um... I mean... I guess that's it for the steel mill. 
We have explored it. We came, we saw, we explored. And, uh, that's about all she wrote for this place. Um, I mean, you know, the whole Grafton Steel Mill has a story, you know, with the whole Woods, Mr. Woods thing, I don't remember his name. The kidnapping of Freddie Woods, cousin Otis. Pretty interesting. Down there is another building. Uh, that, um, maybe is this right here. And then, oh, I'm gonna guess that that's the tower. Yeah, that's the tower, all right. You see what I'm talking about? I'm sure you do. You don't need me to do this, but I'm going to anyway. This tower. That's the lookout tower right there. Huh, okay. Um, man, I tell you what. So, I want to end my episode, but I'm worried that if I end it here, it's going to put me back, you know, on the other side of uh, Grafton Steel. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to be on the other side of Grafton Steel and have to fight my way back down here. So, let's walk down here and see if I don't, you know, hit a checkpoint. I don't really know where the checkpoints are, and I, and I often don't even notice the checkpoint message when it shows up on my screen, but uh, it does show up sometimes. So I'm kind of curious about this place down here. I'm pretty sure I hear footsteps. It's a cooking camp down there. Hate to use ammo on this guy, but... Um, because, you know, it's a waste of ammo, really, but I have a ton of ammo for this thing. Oh no! I broke my sniper rifle. Well, that's not good. I like how it switches me to fists. Oh, here he comes. Holy hell, this guy's fast. Look at this guy. He's showing me how to get down there. Look. <laughs> Running all the way around here. Look at this. This is hilarious. Oh. Oh, oh. You weren't expecting that, were you? Nice. Challenge complete. Reach level 15. Cool. All right. We have reached level 15, everybody. That's exciting. Well, hopefully at level 15 I'll get some more perk cards. Boy, I really wish that this thing would say checkpoint reached or something. Now this has to be a checkpoint, right? I've discovered Pioneer Scout Camp. Huh, interesting. Huh. Duct tape. I'll take duct tape. Let's um, craft here. Look at that ridiculous outfit. <laughs> Can't make any drinks, food. Can make some mutant town chops, which I've heard are quite delicious. Razor grain soup. Meyer Lurk meat. Can't make any drinks though, man. Okay, well this is a good place to hang out. I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back next time, we'll see where the game puts us. Hopefully it's close to this camp. And if so, even if not, if we're not real close to it, we'll come here. We'll explore this place a little bit. Check it out. See what there is to see. Hope you join me then. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.